hi everyone uh, today we have a new video for you so in this video i'll teach you how to use the rational horizon diagram or the pzx triangle uh, to find two latitudes uh, with the same bearing uh, of a celestial body so in case uh, uh, like this let's take the example of this question here uh, where you have to find two latitudes in which a star having declination 68 degrees 51 minutes south will bear 180 degrees or will bear south rather when true altitude of the body or the star is 11 degrees 50 minutes all right so in this case the star was bearing 180 and the star's bearing is 11 degrees 50 minutes the star's declination the st sorry the st the true altitude was 11 degree 50 minutes and the star was bearing 180 and the declination of the star is given so in this case what will be the two latitudes um, which will fulfill this condition all right so how can we go about finding these two latitudes now this is also from the principles of navigation so let's get started with the solution without wasting much time uh, as i know your your time is very precious so we have two situations here so when we say we have to find two latitudes all right when we say two latitudes we mean one latitude will be in the northern hemisphere of course and the other latitude will be in the southern hemisphere right so these two latitudes now we have to take uh, individual cases and uh, see uh, which one uh, is the latitude so we have to fulfill the following conditions firstly uh, the true altitude which should be 11 degree and 50 minutes right the declination should be 68 degree and 51 minutes south and also the bearing should be 180 degrees which is due south so these are the three conditions that we have to fulfill for each latitude so let's take the first example the north latitude all right so let's create a rational horizon diagram where the observer is in the northern hemisphere so i will draw the celestial sphere I will draw the directions of north, south, west and east. I will put myself in the center. This is my observer's zenith. So I am in the center of the rational horizon and the center of the celestial sphere. And because in this case I am putting myself in the north hemisphere or the north latitude, I will draw the equinoctial south of me. So I will draw the equinoctial south of me. W, Q, E. Alright, so this becomes the uh, equinoctial or the celestial equator and i'm now north of it and because i'm north latitude i will also draw the north celestial pole so i will draw the north celestial pole all right now according to the three conditions that i have to fulfill let's draw the diagram now i'll use a separate pen so that it doesn't become too busy so what we have here is firstly uh, a declination of 68 degree and 51 minutes south so declination is the angular distance from the celestial equator or the equinoctial and it will take me right um, of course these drawings are not to scale but here qx qx becomes the declination of the body now i have put x south of the equinoctial because my declination is south so here it is 68 degrees 51 minutes south now the declination of the celestial body which in this case is of course star the star is denoted by the letter x and i have put it south of the equinoctial to show that the celestial body's declination is south what else is given to me is the bearing now the bearing is 180 degrees so i can see from myself that is from the observer's zenith the star is bearing south 180 degrees so i have fulfilled the second condition as well and the third thing is that the true altitude is 11 degree 50 minutes 11 degree 50 minutes is a true altitude that would be the distance from the rational horizon to the star so sx sx becomes equal to true altitude which then becomes equal to 11 degree and 50 minutes so i have fulfilled all the three conditions now i have to find my latitude my latitude is what i have to find now latitude in this case is latitude equals zq so the angular distance of the observer from the celestial equator right so how can i go about finding it let's get started so in the first case we have qx which is equal to the declination which is equal to 68 degrees 51 minutes south we have sx which is equal to the true altitude which is equal to 11 degrees and 50 minutes so what will be sq sq is nothing but sx plus qx 
so i'll add the two numbers together so i have 80 degrees and 41 minutes right sx and qx is given here just add the two so what will be zq zq is nothing but the latitude and how can i find zq zq will be equal to zs or sz minus sorry just i get excited when i'm solving questions so that's why sz minus sq so look at the rational horizon diagram sz minus sq will give you zq which is equal to the latitude now what is sz sz every point of the rational horizon diagram is 90 degree from the observer's zenith right so sz is equal to 90 degrees so therefore zq will be equal to sz which is 90 degrees minus sq which is 80 degrees and 41 minutes and this will be 9 degrees and 19 minutes now because this is latitude i need to give it a north or a south name so from the rational horizon diagram i can see that the observer is located north of the equinoctial so if the observer is located north of the equinoctial then i will call it north this is the first case all right have a look at the rational horizon diagram have a look at what i did and then i will show you how to find the other one all right i'll show you how to find all right guys now now that we have found our north latitude that is one of the latitudes uh, we have found now we have to find the south latitude in which the um, three conditions will be fulfilled all right if these three conditions now for these three conditions to be fulfilled in a different hemisphere the celestial body has to be once above the pole and once below the pole so that means once it should be on the observer's meridian and the other time it should be on the observer's inferior meridian all right so in this case of course it is still on the observer's meridian x is still on the observer's meridian so it is above the pole now in this case we, in the other case we have to put it uh, below the pole by putting it on the observer's inferior meridian so let me show you how so we are aim is to find now the south latitude in which all the three conditions are fulfilled so the three conditions are of course that the true altitude should be 11 degree 50 minutes and the declination should be 68 degree and 51 minutes south and the bearing should still be south 180 degrees all right so let me show you how but now for the body to ha still have the same uh, bearing and the same true altitude i need to put it now on the observer's inferior meridian making it a circumpolar body only then you can observe the body with the same bearing and the same true altitude and the same declination on two different latitudes all right so in the previous case of course i was in the north i assume that the observer in the, in the northern hemisphere so i put him north of the equinoctial in this case the observer as denoted by the letter z observer zenith will be south of the equinoctial because i'm assuming that we are now in the southern hemisphere so the observer is in the southern hemisphere right uh, also because i'm taking the south pole i will be drawing the south pole i will draw it from the south pole's respective now in the previous uh, figure when i drew the uh, declination of the body i measured the declination from the equinoctial right i measured the declination from the equinoctial and i still put it on the observer's meridian right so it is it is still above the pole now in the other case now when i measure the uh, declination from the equinoctial i have to put it on the observer's inferior meridian so not on the main meridian from pole to the equator but on the inferior meridian which is below the pole right so x is of course the letter x is the letter that denotes the celestial body so let me draw it in a different pen so that you don't get confused so i will draw the declination this red here is a declination which is 68 degree and uh, forgotten the number 51 minutes right so this is a declination as measured from the equinoctial to the celestial body and because uh, see previously the body was somewhere here on the observer's main meridian so this is x dash which is on the inferior meridian this is the inferior meridian i cannot put it both times on the main meridian because then it will not work you cannot have the same bearing same declination same altitude and be on the same meridian as well you can't have that in two different latitudes so in one case it has to be on the observer's inferior meridian so i will assume that we are talking about x dash here and uh, uh, i will remove this x from here so that it doesn't confuse you because that x was on the observer's main meridian all right now if i have to solve this question i know that 
S Q X is the declination. Q X is the declination, which is equal to 68 degrees and 51 minutes and south. Remember that, right? So I'll put south here as well. It's south. And now what is S X? S X is nothing but the true altitude. So uh, like I said, true altitude is measured from the observers uh, from the rational horizon to the celestial body. So true altitude, which is 11 degree and 50 minutes. Correct. So if S X is 11 degree and 58 minute, 50 minutes and qx is uh, qx dash rather let's call it qx dash to make it easier so is the declination now i can find the latitude two ways now in the previous one of course i found zq but in this example i don't have to find zq so zq is equal to ps so zq is equal to ps which is equal to the latitude of observer all right so if you don't know why all this is because i've explained rational horizon in a separate video please watch those videos otherwise uh, if i start explaining the same concept again uh, your time will be wasted so instead of finding zq what i'll do is i'll find sp or ps so why is that because it will be easier for me to work it out that way is because i've got everything uh, going on here so if i can find sp which is the latitude that will be equal to sx dash plus xh dash plus p so sp the latitude equals sx dash now sx dash is the true altitude and x dash p or px dash whatever it is and what is x dash p or px dash this is the polar distance now what is polar distance polar distance is nothing but 90 degrees minus the declination will give you the polar distance px this i have explained in other questions as well so it's pretty straightforward so 90 degrees minus 68 degrees 51 minutes will give you 21 degrees 09 minutes that's the px dash or you can call it px or px dash in this case of course it's px dash or x dash 3 so therefore the latitude sp will be equal to sx dash plus x dash p which is equal to 11 degree 50 minutes the true altitude plus the polar distance which is 21 degree 09 minutes and uh, this will be 32 degrees 59 minutes now of course because the observer is south of the equinoctial i'm south of the equinoctial my latitude is south so that is the explanation all right so i found out two latitudes which had the same true altitude the same bearing and the same declination uh, but to do that i once had to put it in the i have to put myself in the northern hemisphere and myself in the southern hemisphere but at the same time i have to put uh, the body once in my observer's meridian and the other time in the observer's inferior meridian so let me know what you thought about this video guys i'm trying to take up these different kind of questions and explain the principles of navigation to you because these are tough topics these are a bit complicated topics but if your knowledge about the pzx diagram circumpolar bodies the rational horizon diagram is clear you will be finding it easy to solve these questions all right uh, thanks guys for watching and thanks for supporting the channel i look forward to your feedback